your crazy fan girl Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today, uh, I'm joined by Alex. Uh, you guys know him from the aftermath. And we are doing a duo reaction to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, we're both very excited for this show. Obviously, we've been obsessed with WandaVision. So with the success of that, we probably are guessing that this show's just going to be just as good. But obviously very different to WandaVision. So let's jump straight into the trailer and let's see what's in store for us. I'm very excited to watch this. So... Who would like to start? Mr. Barnes, why does Sam aggravate you? 15 seconds to draw! <laughs> the plan. <laughs> Great. Superheroes cannot be allowed to exist. I have no intention to leave my work unfinished. The wall's upside down right now. Where do we start? Oh, nice! Buck, I have a plan. Oh, yeah? What is it? Is you ready? Ready, ready. Here we go again, huh? We've been running Ooh. hard on the job. Uh. Can't take that from us. Are you ready? Oh. Is you ready? Ready? You ready? Oh. Ready? Ready? Is you ready? Oh. Are you ready? Ready? Is you ready? Hello, girl. Kick your ass. I. <laughs> See? That wasn't so hard. <laughs> ready? Is you ready? Ready? Okay. You say you ready. What are you doing? Whole squad ready. Ready? Are you having a staring ready? contest? Are you ready? Ready? Is you ready? Just blank. Sweet Jesus. I mean, how old are you? <laughs> Very good. Oh, I'm so psyched for that. Obviously. Uh, that looks great. <laughs> that looks amazing. All right. <laughs> Already, you can tell it's a very different feel from One Division. Yeah, it's oh, and just yeah, again working off the chemistry of both Seb and, and Anthony. That's just great. That's such a good like idea. It's actually just like that rivalry from the very beginning. So good. Because <laughs> I think it's um, we see it. We see little bits and pieces of it through mostly through Civil War more than the yeah. other films of like sort of seeing like the kind of they're always sort of like competing a little bit of like this sort of like, you know, um, competing over who's Steve's best friends, you know? Yeah. Sort of <laughs> yeah. And then like, but it's like, I think it was one of my, um, one of my fa I mean, like there's tons of great moments in Civil War, but one of my favorite moments oh, definitely. In the film was like the bit when, the bit when Steve and Sharon kiss and we just cut back. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. That's one of the best moments because it's just it's also like that brotherly love like you know like when you're with your friends you see them like kiss a girl you're like hey yeah. like like that sort of feel and it's just like yeah even in this trailer it's sort of like that brotherly love like or even sibling love i think it's um it's a lot more of a kind of comedy approach than i was expecting mm. we we're gonna get I yeah actually, i really liked it. it looks sort of like very um what's the word not like in like as some will kind of complain about the like, kind of like sort of overly sort of quippy approach like mm. as some other films have it says yeah like, sort of having more of a kind of um what's the word just like a very sort of i don't know kind of like you know camaraderie sort mm, of yeah you know, camaraderie yeah approach to the thing and like also the action as well yeah, the action yeah. already looks sick yeah looks so good because like they had um of, like yeah going off of well, Captain America the Winter Soldier and Civil mm -hmm. War it's like you know they've got a great precedent set for like, oh, yeah. what sort of action I'm going to do with this but like you know it's, um, like I said I think it was after when we, when we were just um, hanging after One Division and like um, talking about all, um, um, all the different shows I said how it's like something like they've got like six different stunt coordinators yeah. working on this and like a, like they've got a whole team yeah I, and, I'm um, thinking for every episode there's a sort of different action that they're yeah. taking on I think the um 
truck sequence looked really really cool that looks I like, good i like i know there was some people saying that um was like there's some feel like the, we might be seeing too much of the show but like it looks like they're like there's lots of new bits that we haven't seen before but yeah. lots of bits as well just so like i reckon this is probably only from like the first three episodes mainly definitely yeah because it's only gonna be six i think yeah it's not as long as one division but then i reckon it's like yeah that held back a lot with with mando it's like you know it was only the first what two episodes yeah two episodes yeah with one division we haven't really seen anything from probably the final episodes let's say yeah maybe the last two episodes because i think we've nearly seen everything at this point with one division but then with this i reckon as well sort of thing like we're it's like much like with Mando, it's less of a sort of thing that will we know we lo- know less going into like what's the structure of like you know yeah. sort of like as we see the episodes we'll start to see okay so it's only yeah. up to here okay. yeah um the uh the really kind of the sort of like really urban like sort of neon environment you know of like all the cities there there's um I believe uh, I think it was said by like a couple of different people I saw like some of the other like sort of insiders like sort of um establishing i don't know if it was like said in a press release or anything officially but that's um madripoor oh which is this um sort of city port like sort of kind of like a country but like as its own kind of like just the one city and sort of port area mm. i think it's like an island as well or something it's this location from marvel comics it's basically like a um sort of like a kind of pirate haven sort of area ah. like it started out like, like the underworld kind of you know just like flows through there I um, mainly know it from uh, Tom Taylor's all new Wolverine series. There was ah, an arc where, yeah. where Laura goes there. Mm. But I know also learned from that, and it's yeah, part of the thing that it's heavily, heavily, heavily tied to Wolverine as well. It's an interesting thing. And, Ooh. You know, it's like, it was one guy, um, I think it's Charles Murphy, one of the like sort of main like, kind of Marvel insiders. People like somebody claiming that he had said that Wolverine but he said no 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 he I I didn't say that it was someone in my discord that was you know that was bullshitting and said yeah that. and then it got blown out of proportion and he said I'm just saying that this is Madripoor this is something that's got that you know is sort of like a major part of a lot of the X-Men comics and a lot of the Wolverine comics and so it's a nice bit of world building kind yeah. of going in that sort of direction yeah but you know he's not saying that Wolverine's gonna turn up yeah it's, show, I, but... don't, I don't think so but I mean yeah. Even just yeah. having that in, it's sort of already showing that, like, it's sort of melding in mm. already with X-Men, even though we saw that in one division. Yeah, but, like, totally. it's already, like, the, the all these different places that are both seen in X-Men comics and now, like, properly in the MCU, it's obviously, like, melding together. And that's exciting again. Even though we may not see Wolverine or any of those characters, it's still very exciting. <laughs> Something about uh, Weapon Plus could be featured in Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm. And in the, we still know very little about the villain aside from yeah. You know, I know that some people have speculated like, is he actually going to be the the villain main villain, villain, yeah, or is he going to be like more of a kind of anti-hero who's mm. sort of? It'll be cool to see. Role. Yeah. I think, um, Aaron Kellyman's character. I know there's been lots of people theorizing about her. This is um Aaron Kellyman yeah. from uh Solo, who is uh, Enfys Nest. Yeah. And um, as yeah whole bunch of um different characters she's been theorized being connected to some people saying she could be uh cynthia schmidt who mm. is the red skull's daughter traditionally in the comics but i'm guessing she'd be granddaughter great granddaughter here yeah some people as well claiming she could be bucky's granddaughter or something Ooh. But, um, but maybe <laughs> yeah i think it's it's so like it's kind of set up a little more in this one that she's like a little bit more of a she's one of the villains yeah and then whereas it was kind of more ambiguous in the first trailer yeah what kind of role she has in the story but um yeah i'm really really intrigued about this one it's like i'd say off the bat back when they first announced all the different series is falcon winter soldier is probably the one that i was most interested in. yeah same like because it's like it's just yeah bucky and sam i really really like as characters i really loved winter soldier and yeah so winter soldier was to... is one of my favorite films yeah. from the mcu i love I love that this is kind of continuing that trajectory in a way and like and kind of like what they can do with a lot of the um I mean because one division is much more of a kind of like a sort of new thing it's like there are mm. elements of of it the line that go along with other sort of MCU stories and like yeah. before I'd say like lots of connections to the original Thor of mm. the idea of having like there's this like kind of you know 
stuff going on, like this field laboratory being set up around this yeah. invasion sort of area. Oh, yeah, that's very true, yeah. And then, not to mention Darcy being a part of it as well. Yes, of but course. But then it's sort of, but it's like, um, I think Falcon and Winter Soldier sets a good precedent for what some of the other shows are going to be, like, more directly continuing on from yeah. respective series, as, like, say, Armor Wars, how that's yeah. very much going to be. It's the character of John Walker, the US agent who sort of seen briefly in the trailer on the yeah. poster and like we haven't really sort of like gotten major like sort of standard moments of like learning about him as you know like a character and so on we'll find out more in the show but it's um as his story in the comics was that um cap had like stepped down as being captain america and then it's like all the different so like iterations of like when he came along and like in what context but um he was basically sort of like he was a U.S. government in state and stated Captain America, ah. and, so and but then it's kind of set up. He's a bit of an asshole. He's like sort of very like kind of kind of corrupt and like you know really violent. And he's basically mm. sort of like he's sort of this sort of chosen Ooh. by a committee kind of Captain America because like no, we think he'll be the best. The best for everybody will yeah. like, like him the best. You know, he's just sort of like you know. Yeah. This like upstanding soldier, you know, it's like, yeah, he's like, you know, our knight in shining armor, you know, yeah. we don't want anybody else. And yeah. then it's sort of been settled. That's kind of, that'll be part of the conflict in the show is that um, Sam wants to be, he could be Captain America and he can be, but, but it's like, but with Steve having like seemingly died or like, I would imagine officially he like sort of is just like, the official word is that he died in during Endgame, I'm guessing yeah. that's what he said. So, like, you know, leave Steve that's been living with, you know, Peggy. Yeah. So just, like, you know, he can just, like, go and live his life. Like, know? live his life by himself, but yeah. I imagine it'd be the sort of thing of, like, US government stepping in saying, actually, no, it's like, this is Captain America, you know, we do, like, kind of have some degree of, like, control over that name and that identity, and so we're going to... We're going to create our own Captain America. That's interesting. That actually would be really good because even yeah. I was thinking because in the Super Bowl yeah. part of that trailer and even the teaser yeah. that came out ages ago, it yeah. seems like there's someone that looks like Steve in yeah. the suit. Yeah, and at first I was like, maybe that's Bucky. But then I was like, no, Bucky would never put the suit on. So then it's probably, yeah. So yeah, I was thinking, John Walker there. Yeah, John Walker, yeah. Um, there was, <laughs> um, I'm just going to open Twitter. I saw there was, there was a few... Uh, Tops trading cards for the um, how was it for the show that people were sharing around? Oh yep, and yeah because I remember looking at the the cast and it's a pretty big cast oh, ensemble yeah. cast, but they haven't shown all the characters, so I'm guessing we'll have to wait and see in all the episodes to see who's who, yeah. and what um, part they play. Zemo will kind of be Bucky's main enemy in the mm, series, yeah. and then John Walker will be Sam's main enemy. Yeah, that's the way I I think they're gonna go. Yeah, I think it definitely of... will be. And I reckon they might even go the direction of like the situation they find themselves in and everything that's going on. It's um end up with something like Bucky and Zemo having to work together or something. Ooh, that'll be interesting. So there's a shot of Walker from the main poster. Let me have a look. Ah. Oh shit, they changed the suit so much. Yeah, I don't like that suit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the idea. He's like, yeah, yeah it's, it's like, ew, so... no, I like the original. Yeah. Ew! Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't approve. Bye, boy. <laughs> the mask looks like really, really big on his head. It looks well. so like, it big. Doesn't, it doesn't fit him that well. I yeah, like, because I... he can't fit into the yeah, suit. <laughs> exactly. Boy, I'm glad they made it look ugly because yeah. I don't approve. If that actually was a suit for like Sam or something, I'd be mad because yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> Because there's a line from um, Into the Spider-Verse about, you oh, know, yep. the suit always fits eventually. And, like, with yeah. him it doesn't because, Never. you know, he's, like, he's not worthy of it. Nope. Yeah! That's such a great way to put it. Nice one, Alex. Yeah, okay. So there's this one character. Or, like, there's a couple of different iterations of this character in the comics. Um, they had the um, superhero name of Patriot. Oh. His kind of backstory and his whole thing is his grandfather, Isaiah Bradley. As Eli is Patriot, but then Isaiah was his grandfather. Ah. I don't know whether Carl would be playing Isaiah or maybe he would be playing Isaiah's son or something, but um, Isaiah is 
this character who was um, first appeared in a 2003 miniseries called Truth, Red, White, and Black for their Super Soldier program. They basically had this approach. They thought, okay, we need to t start out human trials. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it'll have any side effects. Yeah. And then they picked 20 black Americans to test it on because they deemed them expendable. Oh, oh that's so much and like so, history as well. Damn. Yeah. And so Isaiah was one of the ones where he, it kind of, it worked. He got like the sort of like, you know, super soldier, like sort of, you know, abilities and so on. But it kind of, it affected his mind a little, affected his oh. memory. And it's like, it's often so like depicted as having like a sort of, like a sort of childlike mentality. And so oh, wow. On. That sounds very interesting. Tell, like, I hope they do that. Tell a really interesting story with as well. And I think like that'd be, it could be a really, really like sort of setting up. Um, Cause I know there's like a lot of theories people are having of like, is, so is Falcon, is Sam actually going to become Captain America or is yeah. it going to be some, we're we going to go in a slightly different direction of like him sort of the, like keep the shield, but go into like, go in his own direction, like, sort yeah. of be, like, sort of be his own person, like, sort of, could it yeah. be, like, by the end of it, would would he even want to take up the identity of, you know, Captain America? Yeah. Like, first of all, letting, like, letting, like, seeing the way that this is, you know, all of the other people it connects to in a negative way of, like, first of all, Walker and then yeah. people like Isaiah and, like, you know, everything that when you take Steve apart from it, you know, what does it really stand for, you know? <gasps> That's then, amazing, yeah. So it's like I'm really, really intrigued to see if they go in that direction yeah, cause with the story. I didn't, yeah, because in all honesty, all I've thought about is just Steve, like that icon yeah. of her. And, you know, Ca Captain America was like one of the ones that I fell in love with first. And, you know, he's yeah. Steve's always been like that icon of hope, always yeah. believed in good of people and stuff. But, yeah, take that away, like take Steve away, like that yeah. person, but then – Whoever takes the shield on will still be Captain America. It's just the name and the shield. But whoever's holding the shield will have different intentions to the original exactly. Captain America. So, yeah, that could go really dark if they want to. Yeah. I mean, we, we've we seen WandaVision, how dark it's going oh, yeah. at the moment. So, <laughs> I mean, if, like, I know, yeah, if they like, want to go dark in this, th yeah. that'll be cool. I would yeah. really like to see how far they go. Because I think, I reckon we'll see, like, the sort of, exploration of the kind of like um weaponizing an iconography and like sort of yes weaponizing a martyr so to speak of like you know it's um people using like steve's death to like sort of push for their like you know all, um, their for their own, own like beliefs so thank you guys so much for watching the video hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a like subscribe comment and tell me down in the comments what you thought about the trailer and all your different theories please remember to follow alex on his uh, Twitter page. Um, he does all his different like retweets and does all his theories there. And uh, you can check out our podcast Aftermath on on the channel. Uh, at the moment, we're talking about One Division, so you guys can check that out. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fango out. Woo!